Welcome. In this video, we will look at how to get user input. More specifically, we will look at how to manipulate user input when it comes in through the command line so we can use it to actually do something interesting. Let's have a look. For this video, our goal will be to display somebody's name in the following format. So, a first name, a middle initial followed by a dot, and then a last name. And the way we are going to get our user input is from the command line. So to do that, we can do the following. We can say our first name is going to be equal to input of, say, please enter your first name. And this returns a string, although to be very explicit, we can cast it to a string, like so. Now let's do the same thing for the middle name and the last name. So we just need to change a few things. So that, make sure you put last name and also change the prompt. So middle. And if you want, you can put a colon and a space just so that it's not congested when the user types it in. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to capitalize these just so that if the user doesn't capitalize their own name, we capitalize it for them. So we can do something like first name is equal to first name dot capitalize. Same thing for the other two. Middle name is middle name dot capitalize. And of course we can do the same thing for the last name, like so. Now we want to print the following format. Luckily, we just learned about formatting in the last video. So our name format is going to be the following. We're going to give it a first name, and then we're going to give it a middle name. However, we only want the first character of the middle name. So we can say colon dot one s. The S stands for string, and the dot one is the first character of that string. And we need to make sure we include the last name. So this is our format. Now the last thing we need to do is just print that to the console. So name format dot format, and we can say first is equal to first name. So that means that this will be assigned to first name and we can do the same thing for middle so middle is going to be our middle name we defined above so middle name will get substituted in here and it will only include the first character and also we cannot forget the last so last is equal to last name like so awesome now we are ready to go to the command line and run this. Here I am on the command line in the directory which contains our file. Our file is called 2.5.py. It is right there. And if we want to execute it, we can type python 3.4 and execute 2.5.py. And when we run this, our script prompts us to enter a first name. So I'm going to type William. Then it asks us for our middle name. My middle name is Alexander. And then my last name is Lizette. So let's see what happens when I press enter. When I press enter, it prints out a nicely formatted string with my full name. So my first name, which has been capitalized, my middle initial, which is A, and my last name, which is Fizet. So that is, in essence, how you grab input from the command line and use it to do something useful. In this section, we looked at how to do string manipulation in Python. We looked at how to use various string manipulation methods to transform our strings, including the count method, the place method, and we also looked at the format method, so how we could use that to 
nicely print a string to the console. And lastly, in this video, we looked at how to get user input in the form of a string. In the next section, we will be taking a look at Python lists, how we can use them and transform them.